Uh, first of all, starting a new Premier League season this weekend, uh, kind of what are your goals and ambitions for this season? The goals and ambitions are the same, of course, like Wolves, we want to do, we want to, to improve, we want to play good foot, football, and um, we want to look for the other season and learn what, what we did in the, in the other season and to try to improve. So that's, that's the main target when you go, when you start a new Premier League and you know the teams, the players, the, the managers, you want every time to do your best and to improve. So I think that's the spirit we're going to start this Premier League. And how are the squad looking ahead of Leeds? Do you have any updates around Jimenez and Traore as well? No, they, these two are still out of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone else fit? Yeah, training no, was uh, good today, so everyone is ready to play. And I just wanted to ask you about Morgan Gibbs White. We, we've been reporting on Sky Sports News, you've rejected a third bid for him. Can you give us any update around that? No, we reject because, uh, like I'm saying, since the first day I'm here, uh, I was here. So uh, I remember uh, when first one year ago when we talked about Morgan, I said I will, need treat, I will not treat Morgan as a kid. Uh, I remember his first goal, it was against uh, Brighton. I think I was in the first time he played for the first team because I was in the other bench in Sheffield, uh, against, I was in Sheffield Wednesday. Um, I said to him to, to stay in, in, the, in September, I said to him to stay in August. And today I can say it is an important player for me and mm -hmm. for, the for the dynamic we are building and for the future of Wolves. So we reject because it's an important player for me. And will he be part of and the squad? And he feels important also. He's happy. The way he play show me that. The way he, he work every day in the training show me that. So when we have this connection between manager and, and, and player and also player with his teammates, everything it's, it's good. So we want the player with us. And will he be part of the squad for this weekend? Is he okay to yes. play? Great. And just one final question around... So fit and motivated to do his <laughs> best game. Amazing. And Connor Cody, I just want to ask you about him. He, in pre-season, you've gone to a four at the back and he hasn't been featuring as much. Um, have you had a discussion with him around his role this season? Look, um, I think it's important to understand what what was the, the, the main point to to, to do the pre-season with, with the line of four. I think it was um, because we have time to work. Uh, in the previous preseason, we don't have. I just have two weeks and start the preseason with uh, with the full squad. Mm -hmm. And this this preseason, I have more time. So uh, when I was in, in my holidays and when I tried to look back and to see what we can learn from what we did in the previous season, why not come with a new system, especially in the beginning, for the players to come and to see that we are working something new, to be more focused and to try to learn in the, um, in the new system. So now, after these five weeks, I can see that we can grow up in this system. And I have no doubt that my team can play very well in both systems. So they play very well in the last six years with the line of five. And they play very well the, the last five weeks with the line of four. So for that, gives me more opportunities to manage the games and especially in the next Premier League with five subs, this is very important for me. If I want to change the system, if I want to change the dynamic in one sub, we have more um, situations from that. About Cody, you know, because I'm saying that also since the first day, it's not, uh, I'm not hired this for many one. Maybe he's the one of the best persons I, I know in football. I have a great season in, with him and he also I think he have a great season with uh, with me, um, today I can say is is it it it's a guy that you will keep in your friendship because it's a, a lovely guy. It's my captain. He's still my captain. And in the last six years, you know how many games when because it was when when Wolves arrived in the Premier League. You know how many how many games Wolves did? One hundred fifty-two. You know how many games Cody did? 151. <laughs> he, did, he didn't play just one game with me. He played all games. He didn't play one game. It was in 2020 against Southampton because I think he was in touch or near some some person with with COVID. So 
massive respect from me to Cody, massive respect from the club uh, to Cody. So that's it. After in the end, I, I, I need to I need to take my decisions. Last year, sometimes I play with a line of five, with two midfielders, with three midfielders, with four midfielders. Now I have more solutions, and I will choose the best decision for my team. But I, I cannot forget uh, Cody, and I cannot forget any player. Could you understand, though, in a World Cup year, you know, only a few months away, if he's linked with moves away to make sure he plays every week? Him and another player. Mm. We need to understand a, 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 any situation, just not Cody, any player in three months to, to play the World Cup, what they want, they want to play. It's it's easy. And then, look, and to be honest, it's just not about the um, the World Cup. Every time the players want 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 to play, but the only thing they can control is the way they prepare. And I, I can say that to you, Cody, it's uh, Cody and all the players since the first day are focused and try to improve to play with a line of four. So I just can say that oh, I have all my team motivated to try to improve in this way and now give me more solutions to play both systems. Just for a definitive answer, um, what are the chances that Conor Cody could leave for Everton for this season? I really don't know. What I know is I, I will respect him as always. And after, I need to understand what is the best for him. Because now, our, our, you know I'm going to play tomorrow. You know how we're going to play tomorrow. You don't know if we play with five or we play with four. Let's put a lot of people inside. How are we going to play? So what I know in this moment is that my team can play in both systems. We didn't play any game in the line of five because I think we need more tests. My plan is to play a, a, a line of five against Sporting because also Sporting play a, a line of five. But after the end, I feel like that the team needs a, a different challenge because Alaves and Besitas, the, the, the team did so well in that system. Why not try and push the team to play against a line of five against Sporting because Sporting is a big team and they know how to play and they will play five players between our line. So. Uh, when we prepared the precision was, was was for that how we can adapt from one system to another, but it was so okay and we need to prepare the team. Let's go one more challenge with a line of four, with a line of four. But from the future, I really don't know. I need to see uh, the game. I need to see how the team are improving. I need to understand the opponent. What is important? Most important, not the system. It's important that the dynamic we are creating and the dynamic we, we are creating is for both systems. Is the defence flexible or are you set on having a back four? I think I just answered the question. Yeah, it, it, so you could, so there could be potentially space for Conor Cody this season? Of course, but if I play with 9 4 I need to take my decisions. I can choose Cody, I can choose Collins, I can choose Max, I can choose Bonny, I can choose Totti and Andy Erson. Six players. But, like I told you, it's one of the best guys I met in football. It's my captain. I have a massive respect about, about him. And I cannot forget that. And I will not forget that. Me, and especially the club, what he gives to the club. At the end of last season, we kept talking about Ruben Neves. Do you remember? And, it, and he's it, still here. Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't uh, the situation and uh, credit credit for uh, for uh, for Jeff and some sometimes it's uh, people I know people sometimes try to criticize and put us one against the other and no we are we try to do our best and uh, one of the things I said that and uh, I think is important one is try to if you want to build something good first is try to to keep our best players with, with us so the first step we did that our best players with us. We see good players leaving, and now we need patience, and we are working in the best way to find the best player the right, at the right price. We see Saiz goes, and, we, and it was a player, it was so important for us, and we, we find coins, and this is doing uh, well for us. So that's the point. I think we have a month in front of us to work with patience 
to to continue to improve our squad. If you beat Leeds United, is your point proven? Where they have sold, you know, two of their best players in Rafinha and Kelvin Phillips. I don't think it's not about the game. I think it will be about the the, the season. And look, and sometimes we don't have a chance to say no to proposals. How I can say no to a proposal that then can with if you send one player you can buy three. I can how can we say no three years ago when I offer like 120 million comes for a player and you say no. So there's there's offers that you can cannot say no. So but the most important is for us. If Ruben is important play for us and if the op, the proposal comes with the right or the right price that the right the price that we think we deserve to 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 sell. Um, until now, nothing come to to Ruben. That it was important in the same way. Proposals comes to Ruben to Morgan, and they are important players for me. And we 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 not sell. Finally, for me, it's so um, clear. Have you got enough in the squad to improve on last season? That's that's the target. That's the target. I will not change nothing. That what I said uh, in the end of the the season or during the the, the season. I think we have uh, we can make a strong team now with the, with patience, and we have one month in front of us, and uh, sometimes it's not uh, the way we want. It's not happened at the time that that we want. Originally, what we want, we want the players arrive at the, the same time. Collins arrive to have time to go to to the camp and work more time with the players, but during the transfer window, we just finish in in the in the end of August. Uh, some. Sometimes things happen, and we and we need to, to to take care about that. So the most important thing is to we are confident that we prepare very well on the team. We are very happy that we work that we are doing, and we have one one month, a patient month for everyone, because I believe and I'm confident that uh, good things can can happen here during this month, and we create that uh, not that strong team, but the solid squad that we want. Cheers, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike. Hello, uh, Bruno. Nice Hi. to see you again. Um, I, I understand. I, I hear you there so talking about your patient, um, and, and I, I think people will understand why you're calling for them to be patient. Um, but can you understand why at least some fans are concerned that these players you wanted have not arrived yet? And I, I know the transfer window's still got time to go, but you don't have very many players. I think that's the concern a lot of people have got. Are you concerned at all? Yes, but uh, I, I'm concerned about that, of course, because uh, especially in the next next uh, year with with five subs, it's it's so important to have a, a strong squad, just not a strong st team like we have. And if you remember, it was happened sometimes last year that uh, with something happened during the game or before the game, and we don't have enough players in 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 some position to 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 manage. But look, that, that's why, and sometimes. It's, it's normal, and it's normal. And sometimes, can be uh, important for me as a manager to be to be in the middle of of the the, the, the management of the of of of, of Fozun and and Jeff and the love uh, for um, for uh, the fans for, from the club. And maybe this is the time that um, it's time to look back and what what happened from Wolves. The last seven years, of course, the people cannot live from the past. But when they when they come, the club was in the in championship. The squad is it wasn't so strong like like we 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 have now, and they get everything so fast promoted to times seven position, buy players, sell players. So maybe now it's time also time the same way I'm I'm a patient I'm a patient manager. The same way I think the fans should wait, should be confident that the, the, the work that we are doing should also be confident that the pressure I'm doing every day to, to my chairman to, to create the squad we want. And uh, let's wait for, for the, in the end of these transfer windows to see what happens. But I think also the key word, and it's also for important for the fans to understand that. So. We come from Championship to Premier League, and it was uh, Fozun and Jeff to support. Now maybe it's a little bit. Can can we be 
one month to support the team, to be near the team, because we, 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 we will need. So patient and support and love to the players, because I'm big confident that the, the next month will be very, very good. And I hope in one month we, we are here and we look back and everyone is proud for the, 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 the squad that we create. Everyone is happy for the, the work that Jeff, Scott and Max are doing and we, 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 with me. So That's the squad, yeah, you, you're confident, you can say to Wolves fans, you think the squad, all things being going well, the squad on the 1st of September will be good enough. You'll be happy with that. Look, we, are, we, are, we have the right targets and I think with the right price, now it's just the, the final step to convince these players to come play for us. So we are doing a hard job and, uh, and you know me. Also, I'm a ambitious player. I don't want, I don't want players just to, to come here to, just to, to say that I, I have, I, I'm a, we have a bigger squad. I want players that can also improve and improve the team and to have more competition in, in, in some positions. And we are doing that, we are doing that. So one more time, more patient during this month, come with a big support to, to, to support the players that we're gonna play tomorrow and during the month. And, uh, I, and I, I have a big hope that in one month or in two or three weeks, we have a squad that the people look and it will go again. This is the, the, the squad that we, we, we are proud to and to recognize that we did a good job in this in these transfer windows. Great. That's all we thank you. Good